Hey guys, Nathan Latke here with FanPage Factory, and today we're going to learn something really exciting. You know, it's a crucial part to make your fan pages dynamic, and that is creating clickable icons and buttons, including clickable social media icons. Or maybe you ha will have a About Us button. Or if you're a realtor, you have a Homes button. Or if you're a plumber, you have a Services button. Or a consultant, you have a Consultant button. All kinds of buttons and clickable images. That's what we're going to go over in this tutorial. Again, really easy PDF code. Here's how it works. Everything in blue are links that the buttons, which are the pink, link to. So let's look through this here. We have a YouTube, we have a Twitter, and we have a LinkedIn. So check it out. That code, when we put it in our back end of FBML and click Save Changes, yields this. And you'll notice I have a YouTube button that opens up to YouTube. I have a Twitter button that opens up to Twitter. And I have a LinkedIn button that opens up to LinkedIn. So this is a great way to diversify your social web and really integrate things into your fan page. So let's go over the code a little bit more. So let's say you wanted to link to some other site. All you do is you put that link right in here. What these code for are the individual images. So that image is going to be this first image if we put it into its own tab. See that? It's a little red icon. The image files always usually end in .png, .jpg, or .gif. Be sure you check that if you're having troubles with your code. It's a culprit for a lot of troubles. Again, here's our Twitter link, and we're saying we want this button to click through to that link. And this, again, image is our Twitter button. Right there. Can you guys guess what this last button might be? Here we go, LinkedIn. All right, and again, I coded them in right next to each other and made them all clickable. One other crucial part is to make sure you have the target equals blank in there. Anyone know what that code's for? Well, basically what it does is it makes these new images, or excuse me, these new links these new, open in new tabs so that people always can go back to your tab. In other words, it doesn't take people away from your tab, which from a marketing perspective is crucial, right? So again, think of creative ways you can use this. Again, you can, you can use the div tag code, which is further down in the code warehouse, to position these on the page or move them down or move them anywhere on the page. So this is how it works. Again, all you have to do is copy this sample code into your own FBML tab, just like I've done here, and then manipulate it and click Save Changes and voila. All righty, guys. Again, this is Nathan Lack with Fanpage Factory. Take care. Bye-bye.